Ingredient Idol, people. Woohoo! We have arrived. We have arrived. That's right. Everybody's favorite fun time raucous game show here at Supply Side West 2024. We are going to we are going to honor, we're going to discover the winners of the best in class new ingredients of the year. New ingredients, we say that you had to have launched the ingredient between January 1st of 2023 and uh, when the submissions were due. So basically the last year and a half, give or take, right? All right. In the aging category, contestant number one from Bioenergy Life Sciences, the ribose people, uh, with their, their contestant this year is Riajev. And I give you Dr. Michael Crabtree, Director of Scientific Affairs and Product Development, Bioenergy. Michael, come on up here. Give us your pitch. You got three minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I want to talk about three things. Uh, thank you for the judges and attendees for inviting us all. This is actually my second time doing this, but we want to talk about the NAD space and changing the conversation from quantity to quality. We want to talk about sustainable NAD in the blood, not just the amount of a, uh, NAD that you can make at any one given time. And we would like to talk uh, about that in the context of ATP glutathione and the other parameters that go along with anti-aging. There are three parameters okay, that are generally associated with anti-aging that are fundamental to biology, that is ATP, glutathione, and AD+. So we have formulated a product that can address all three of those at one time. Single turnkey product, perfect, okay? Number two, sustainability. Other NAD precursors are all about how much NAD can we produce at one time. We're saying how much is a moderate and elevated amount of NAD, how long can you keep that sustained uh, for an extended period of time? And number two, how can you enhance mitochondrial function, cellular energy, and bioenergetics, for which Bioenergy D ribose has been notified to do for about 35 or 40 years. So we have taken a patented combination of D ribose and nicotinamide, and we have put it together into a water-soluble format that is good for food, Bev, and just about anything that you can put inside of a capsule, tablet, or any other nutraceutical application. And you can address all of these factors in a single turnkey solution to anti-aging. You can put it in cosmetics. You can put it in anything that you can use to address any sort of free radical generating exercise in biology. And again, it is the fundamental energy current of when you're dealing with NAD, ATP, and glutathione, you're dealing with the universal, okay, the order of priority in the death of a cell is ATP declines first, sorry, glutathione declines first, NAD second, and ATP third. Thank you. Okay, so the first question I had is around the, the science behind this. Uh, have you guys conducted any clinical trials? Yes, we have. We have a 20-subject uh, pilot clinical trial that was published in Nutrients in 2022, and we have a 28-subject extension on that clinical trial that was published. Um, well, it went unpublished, but it's published in the form of patents and, and so forth in 2023. Okay, and what were the main outcomes of the clinical main, trials? The, yep, the main outcomes were, uh, uh, in, in the first, let's deal just with the 20-subject pilot trial. We're dealing with a 15% increase in NAD across seven days, a 12% increase in glutathione across the same seven days, uh, about a 12% increase in uh, ATP across seven days, a 10% reduction in the stress hormone cortisol, and a measurable impact on... Uh, the throughput of glucose. So it was a reduction of postprandial glucose also without statistical significant increases in insulin. So you actually increase the throughput of the glucose, postprandial blood glucose in the subjects during exercise, and then of course enhancing the glutathione by also about 12%. So okay. those five. Awesome. So mar marketing is all about story. So tell me, do you think longevity as a category is one that's going to be the category that everybody wants to get into. Yes, I do. I think that longevity should probably be rephrased as the increase in health span. Uh, we're in biology, they're making this distinction between chronology and biological aging. I mean, the reality is you, you can't really slow down time. It's going to flow through everybody, but you can increase the length of time that we're all healthy. The length of time that you can perform, the length of time that you can process anything metabolically, the length of time that your skin looks good, all of these markers that are visible and external to human biology, that health span, the way that you look, the way that you feel, the way that you move, 
kinetically. I mean, all of those things can be improved, but that's the difference between health span and then anti-aging. So. Um, what about safety, safety studies? Safety studies. Any? Safety studies? Yeah, yeah. So Bioenergy Ribos has had safety done on it. Our pilot trial in the Ryagev uh, study was uh, an actual safety study. So we actually used this as an opportunity to feed, uh, to use a very high dose of the product to make sure that what we were recommending would be safe at any dose. Uh, so, and then in our second 28 subject dose, we uh, cut that in half and then just determined that over a longer period of time, you'd essentially get the same results. And what is the dose? Like how, how large of a dose is it to uh, get the res results you're looking for? Uh, starting at, uh, our, our bottom recommended dose would be 750 milligrams. It's safe all the way up to three or four grams. I have time for one more or no? No, okay. Thank you, Michael. There we have Bioenergy Life Sciences with Reagent. <laughs>